Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Zoology online class. I am very glad to meet you all through this online class. How are you children? Fine? Okay. Did you read the previous portion? Did you learn? Yes? Good. In this section, we are going to discuss about invertebrata. Okay. What are invertebrates? Animals which do not possess notochord are called as invertebrates. Animals which do not possess notochord. Notochord means backbone are called as invertebrates. Let us learn about one by one. The first phylum protozoa. Children, in lower class you might have studied nine phylum. Have you remember? No. Yes. This class you are going to learn eight phylum. The first phylum protozoa. Now they changed from this group and included in the another group because they are unicellular. Okay. Phylum Porifera to phylum Echinodermata. They are multicellular. So unicellular means. We cannot able to see our naked eye. We can see only through microscope. Clear? But multicellular means we can see our naked eye. So this phylum porifera from phylum porifera to included our lesson. Okay. First phylum. Phylum porifera. Second one. Phylum cylindrata. Third one. Phylum platicle mindus. Fourth one, phylum Ascalmindus. Fifth one, phylum Annelida. Sixth one, phylum Arthropoda. Seventh one, phylum Mollusca. Eighth one, phylum Echinodermata. The first phylum, Porifera. So, Porifera, that means four bearers. Okay, they have fours, holes. The body has holes. These are multicellular. They have many cells. Non-motile. Motile means movable. Non-motile means they cannot able to move. Aquatic organisms. They live in water. Marine water. Clear? Commonly called as sponges. Commonly called as sponges. So they exhibit cellular grade of organization. That means the body has cells. Body is perforated with many fours called ostia. The fours are called ostia. Water enters into the body through ostia and leads to a canal system. So it has canal system. It circulates water throughout the body and carries food oxygen. The body wall contains spicules that is the body is covered by spicules. That is the skeletal framework. Okay. Reproduction is by asexual or sexual methods. So asexual means without fusion of male and female gametes. Sexual means fusion of male and female gametes. Either sexual or asexual. Okay. So example cycon. Euphalectella. Clear? So once again, phylum porifera. That means four bearers. They are multicellular. Commonly called sponges. Second point. They have cellular grade of organization. Okay. Body has many pores called ostia. Through this canal, the water exchange as well as food oxygen takes place. Okay. The body wall contains spicules. That is the outer framework, outer covering of body. Reproduction is by both asexual as well as sexual methods. Example, cycon. Here, each phylum has one peculiar character. When you are reading the heading itself, we can find out students. Phylum porifera. What is the peculiar character? Force. 
they have force second phylum phylum coelenterata a cnidaria here what is the special character coelo a cnidran so last class we have studied what is coelo it is a fluid filled body cavity fluid filled body cavity coelenterates are aquatic organisms mostly marine and few freshwater forms they are multicellular that means many cells they have many cells radially symmetrical animals if we cut their central axis we will get two equal parts okay next tissue grade of organization that is in phylum foriifera they have only cells don't have tissues but phylum coelenterata the coelenterates they have tissues that means cells join to form tissues clear tissues formation started body wall is diploblastic children can you tell me what is diploblastic the organisms has two layers two germ layers outer ectoderm and inner endoderm isn't it okay so the an outer ectoderm and inner mesoderm are separated by non cellular jelly like substance is called mesoclea what is mesoclea an outer ectoderm and inner mesoderm are separated by non cellular jelly like substance called mesoclea it has central gastrovascular cavity called coelenteran it has central gastrovascular cavity called coelenteran with mouth surrounded by short tentacles okay mouth is surrounded by tentacles the tentacles bear stinging cells called cnidoblast or nematocyst okay tentacles bear stinging cells called cnidoblast or nematocyst many coelenterates exhibit polymorphs that means many structures okay they reproduce both sexually or asexually okay they reproduce both asexually and sexually example hydra okay here why coelenterates are called diploblastic animals students because coelenterates have two layers okay the coelenterates have two layers clear it okay that's why they are called diploblastic animals i hope are uh, understood third one is phylum platycalminthes third one is phylum platycalminthes flatworms they are bilaterally symmetrical they are bilaterally symmetrical what do you mean bilaterally symmetrical already studied so if they are cutting their body parts are arranged along a central axis the body parts are arranged along a central axis if the animal is cut through the central axis we get two identical halves clear it next a coelomate triploblastic what do you mean triploblastic three layers okay three layers what is a coelomate they do not have coelo what do you mean a coelomate they do not have body cavity coelo means body cavity okay most of them are parasitic in nature that means it depend on others body it lives in others body okay they have suckers and coops with the help of suckers and coops they get the food from coast they get the food from body of the coast excretion occurs by plain cells excretion occurs by plain cells the worms are hermaphrodites that means both the sex organs are present in same animal okay 
both male and female reproductive organs are present in same animal clear example tape worm have you got it okay once again we can check in phylum platycal means flat worms okay they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic acelomate animals most of them are parasitic in nature they have suckers and cooks with the help of suckers and cooks it takes the food from the body of host okay excretion is by flame cells the worms are hermaphrodites what do you mean hermaphrodites both sex organs are present in same animal both male and female reproductive organs are found in single individual example tapeworm got it fourth phylum phylum ascalmindes phylum ascalmindes round worms okay ascalmindes are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic animals so already i explained what you mean bilaterally what you mean triploblastic animals the body cavity is pseudocoelom what you mean pseudocoelom they have false body cavity they have false body cavity they exist as free living soil form or as parasites some of them are living as free fire living or some of them are as parasites okay the body is round pointed at both the end it is unsegmented and body is covered by thin cuticle body is covered by thin cuticle sexes are separate that means here separate sex organs male has male sex organ female has female sex organs okay the most common diseases caused by nematodes in human beings are elephantiasis and ascariasis elephantiasis and ascariasis do you know children what do you mean elephantiasis so it is caused by the worm uchar area okay so it causes a disease elephantiasis we used to say elephant leg that disease okay example elexcaris as well as uchar area that it okay the fifth phylum annelida phylum annelida they are segmented worms the special character do you know children segmented worms they are they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic so already i said to you what do you mean bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic first true coelomate animals what do you mean true coelomate u coelomates they have true body cavity okay u coelomate body is divided into segments that segments are called metameres okay segments are called metameres and metameres are joined by ring like structures called annulae the body is covered by thin cuticle body is covered by thin cuticle their locomotory organ is setae and parapodia what do you mean locomotor organs they move with the help of setae and parapodia what is our locomotory organ legs got it children similarly their locomotory organ is setae and parapodia they may be separate or united that means hermaphrodite okay separate the zoological term is dioecious that means they both the sex organs are separate male has male sex organ and female has female sex organ hermaphrodites what do you mean hermaphrodites both the sex organs are present in same animal example earthworm so no okay so body is segmented body is segmented they are bilaterally symmetrical characters bilaterally symmetrical 
triploblastic true coelomate animals okay then the body is covered by cuticle body is covered by cuticle externally body is divided into segments called metamers body is divided into segments called metamers their locomotory organ is called setae and parapodia locomotory organ is setae and parapodia sexes are separate or united got it children once again we can see phylum annelida their characters they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic second point true coelomate animal first true coelomate animals organ system grade of organization okay they have organ systems then body is divided into segments called metamers body is divided into segments called metamers and next point locomotory organ is setae and parapodia last point sexes are separate or united clear got it okay then that's all today's portion children now we can mark the questions so take your book 10th page number 209 roman letter 5 question number 2 roman letter 5 question number 2 what is nematocyst the tentacles we are stingy cells called cnidoblast or nematocyst answer page number 202 answer page number 202 right say first paragraph in that last before line see the tentacles we are stinging cells called cnidoblast or nematocyst the tentacles near you write it in seal and rates in seal and rates i n in seal and rates c o e l e n t e r a t e s in seal and rates the tentacles we are stinging cells called cnidoblast or nematocyst got it children next question third question from letter 5 question number 3 why seal and rates are called diploblastic animals why seal and rates are called diploblastic animals answer note it answer third question here write it seal and rates are called diploblastic animals first you mark it in the question children seal and rates are called diploblastic animals because write it because they have they have two layers they have two layers the ectoderm the ectoderm e c t o d e r m ectoderm and the endoderm e n d o d e r m endoderm once again question why seal and rates are called diploblastic animals near the question you write it before that mark it in the question seal and rates are called diploblastic animals did you mark near right it because they have two layers the ectoderm and the endoderm clear next example hydra example hydra h y d r a h y d r a okay next question roman letter 6 question number 1 roman letter 6 question number 1 given account on phylum annelida given account on phylum annelida turn page number 203 turn page number 203 see phylum annelida paragraph the fully mark it phylum annelida paragraph children this is four mark question while you are writing you make it points make it five points Okay so better you have to learn it